Bethesda, Bethesda never changes. The Fallout TV show has obviously provoked a huge interest in the game again for Fallout 4 with uh, Bethesda releasing an upgrade. Now, I have no idea how large that update is, although it is actually installed on my computer, Fallout 4. Um, I haven't played it in any depth for some time as I'd worked my way through most quest lines several years ago, and I am not interested in doing all the settled building stuff. It doesn't really excite me as much as some people build a Lego construction inside an RPG is not my kind of thing. But as usual, in special Bethesda tradition, as ever, the sort of upgrades got wrong. And that's a kind of ongoing issue with them. Fallout 4 Next Gen Updates runs into a pretty big problem on PlayStation 5. But Bethesda says it's working on it. How many times have people heard the word <laughs> Bethesda says it's working on it? I reckon they might as well just uh, like record a sort of speech by AI and sort of roll it out with a hotkey or something every time. Folks who have grabbed the game via PlayStation Plus got a fairly nasty surprise yesterday, and that wasn't the only problem being reported. Well, Fallout's next-gen update day arrived yesterday. Though its deployment has been issued far from issue-free. Is there ever been anything issued by Bethesda that's been issue-free? With Bethesda, the best thing to do with anything they've ever issued is wait about six months to a year before installing it. Before you, otherwise, you're going to be guaranteed when you play the game. Oh, look, it's another bloody crash! Oh, look, it's another crash to desktop. Oh, look, this save game's gone corrupt. Oh, look, strange, strange things are happening with characters flying up in the air and so forth. It's just part of Bethesda's tradition. <sighs> they have actually had plenty of time to work on this, so I can't really. <laughs> So I have a great deal of sympathy for them. This is not exactly a new game either. It seems like uh, people became interested in playing the game who never had or want to rework it through it on ultra. If they've got an ultra high laptop or PC, they didn't have a few years ago. But let's see how long it takes Bethesda to clear it up this time. They they are a running comedy when it comes to this sort of stuff. It must be said. It's amazing how they keep going and, and sell so many games with, with that sort of reputation.